Okay, so today we're going to change a Dell Inspiron screen. As you can see, it's very, very broken. It's uh, sustained a pretty good fall. So, for safety reasons, before we get started, we will power the machine down, take out the battery. I don't know how many fatalities have happened as a result of uh, leaving the battery in, but it can never be too safe. And as gingerly as possible, start removing the screen from around the top. We've already cracked it once. Very gingerly. Step number two, on to removing the screws. There's a number of screws which are holding in the screen. Let's take a second and remove these guys. <laughs> They're not very big screws, so it's easy to lose them. Surgery going on? Mm-hmm. Alright, so, well, that's done. Looks like the screen just kind of pops out, just like that. And it looks as though there's something on the back of the board holding that on. Okay, on to the next step. Some little pieces of tape there that needs to come up. Got a tiny little exacto blade to help peel that back. I'll try and get underneath, causing as minimal damage as possible. Slowly back. And then this guy will be peeled forward slowly. And then remove the little tab, just like so. And then from there, we're going to move on to the side clips that are framing in the screen. So we're going to transfer these clips, metal brackets over to the new screen. So there's a couple little Phillips screws that need to be removed in order to do so. And they're in there fairly tight. But, whoops! <laughs> I'll get my best guy on retrieval. And they're not big screws, so try to keep an eye on them when they go flying. Did you find it? It's just on that mat there. It's on the mat? Yeah. Nailed it. Hmm. Thank you. Right there. Here for now. This guy's over. So that's one bracket removed. 
That's just the side bracket. Do the same on this side. Okay, now, now we've got to reattach uh, the side bracket. So you've got a little plastic tab here that's holding on the protective cover on the screen. So we'll leave the protective cover on to protect the screen while we're making the adjustment. So what we'll do is we'll just peel that back, fit our bracket back into place, and then it's just the same three screws to screw back into place there. One in. And three. And we'll repeat the same thing on the other side. Okay, so that's one bracket on. I'm just going to switch this around. Do the same thing with the other side. Same thing. Peel the tab back. Place the back bracket in place. And then screws back in. That's one in there. Next, we've got to reconnect our strip, so we'll just peel the tape back a little bit, and this guy apparently just slides right back in. Like so. And then make sure that there's no gap in between where the teeth bite in there. Next is simply to flip your screen back up. Line up all your screw holes. Make a quick count. Make sure you still got all your screws. So when you flip your screen back up, you'll notice that there's these two little, like two tabs, one at the top of uh, either end of your laptop, and that's just a little. Uh, something that slides through your bracket to hold your screen in place while you're lining up your screws just to make your life a little bit easier. Alright, so now you're ready to remove your protective screen with your nice fresh laptop screen in place. Take your plastic bezel line up all the tabs you got a little magnet there to suck it into place so let's start with uh, the camera eye hole and go around from there, that way at least you know you're centered and start finding all the tabs just lightly snap them in place to start and then go around afterwards and snap them all in nice and tight so right now just going around just tacking them all in place you can feel them all catch and then slowly make your way around the edges here is it all tightens back up into place. Good call. And replace your battery. Click. This guy back over. And moment of truth. Dun 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 dun. Rock and roll. New screen.